Hey my gorgeous fam out there. Welcome to the love readings for the signs for September. Um, I hope you guys enjoy them. They are a completely new uh, formula formula, uh, formula this time. Um, so again, hit me up in the comments. Let me know how you like it. Um, essentially, we're using the oracle cards to get a peek at what is coming to you regarding love and romance, what you need to kind of understand and know about them from spirit concerning, you know, messages and guidance. I'm holding the camera, so if it's moving all over the place, sorry about it. Amateur cameraman. <laughs> um, uh, but yes, what's coming to you, what you need to know, and then of course we're going to get our main spirit message about uh, what's coming uh, through the tarot. So I hope you enjoy. This is going to be for all the signs for sun, moon, and rising. Um, you can also watch it as a cross, uh, cross watcher. So if you are seeing or dating, you know, a Scorpio and want to know what's going on, you can, you're more than welcome to watch the Scorpio video and then just apply it to the other person. Um, again, biggest thing, you're taking what resonates. These readings are general. So parts may stick, parts may not resonate. Only take what resonates, leave behind the rest, all right? Uh, with that said, let's get into your reading. Take care, have fun, and enjoy. Hey, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Welcome to your love reading, excuse me, for September. Let me get a little. Sorry about that. Ooh. Need to see a little limeade in my life. Um, like I was saying, welcome to your love reading. Let's get into it. It's been a little over a week since you had your, your monthly video. I hope things are going well. I hope you're enjoying September so far. All right, spirit. What is coming towards Sagittarius concerning love and romance? For the month of September until this next reading. could be the one. Very nice, Sag. Love this. Uh, prompt reads, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Beautiful. So, Sages, those of you who are on the cusp of uh, Scorpio, Scorpio's also got, this could be the one, they got the exact same card. They actually got two, uh, but one of them was this guy. So if you are a cusp, um, or at least at the beginning of Sag season, or if you uh, have a lot of strong um, Scorpio placements, or if you're dealing with a Scorpio, it may be worth it to check out the Scorpio video. Just throwing that out there. Um, for the rest of you, this could be the one. If, if when I say that, someone comes to mind, someone pops into your head almost instantaneously, Take that as it sounds. Sorry, moving my legs around. Excuse me. Um, you know, take it as it resonates. If you've been feeling that this one could be the one, this is confirmation. This is the one. For others of you, especially my singles, my singles have been coming strong, coming through very strongly so far. So I think I'm really connected with my singles out there. Um, my single Sages, if you're like, like, oh, I've already met this person. Yeah, right. I don't want any of these people then that's not for you. Take what resonates, let go of the rest, all right? So for some, that just may not apply. For others, this may mean they're coming. So don't get discouraged. Don't let your fears and doubts get in the way, all right? Know that that person does exist. It's not like, oh, am I trying to chase the unicorn? Oh, there's someone flipped over in there. Actually, you know what? That just seems to, we're gonna take that one. But we're still going to shuffle. Because literally what I just said is summed up in this card. So light was flipped over. And it's funny because it was not flipped over earlier when I did the last reading. So I don't know when that got flipped. But light. So again, follow the light. Be light itself. Optimism. Hope. Light also guides when you think of like a guiding star or a lantern. 
So let your hope be your guide, not your fears, not your doubts. So those of you really struggling with romance and struggling with finding that direction or that new person or that, that commitment. Okay. Oh, we are taking these. Oh, you guys, you guys are getting a lot. And I honestly, I feel like that. I feel like there's more of you that are single that are kind of struggling with it. So we're gonna throw this out here. I'm gonna give you all three cards. So you guys also got I am creator. Sorry for the glare and opportunity. These two coming out together, I really think are speaking to you as the creator. You are co-creating whatever is happening with your, with the universe, with your guides, with your angels, whatever you believe in, but you play a part in this. So I think that's why I keep getting this, this like pull to talk about this, you know, not getting in your head or letting the fears play with you and letting all that stuff weigh heavy. And I'm not, when I say that, that doesn't mean that those feelings aren't gonna pop up and when they do, it just means like, oh, ignore them, bury them. Like, it, no, these are gonna pop up. You're gonna feel them, that's okay. Don't dwell in them. That's the big thing. Don't sit in that energy and, and stew in it. Feel it, heal it, and then move forward, all right? And that's where that light comes in. You know, you even have all these lights coming from the I Am Creator card, surrounded in this lovely protective bubble. You have this like, oh, I didn't even see that until now. Look, you have, so you like start off here with the light card with this like burning flame in this little fire pit all the way over to opportunity where that same flame is coming out of you twofold, right? And I think that mirrors with I am creator in the middle where like you, you are literally co-creating. You are part of this flame. It's like your flame meeting the divine flame. Like you are co-creating this situation. So if you keep dwelling in, I can't find him. Oh my God, boys always treat me like this. Girls always behave the same way. Guess what? They will. <laughs> like, I know it sounds funny and I'm just, I'm like making joke and making light of it. But I mean, that's really what's, that's really what's going on. You play a huge part, especially as a fire sign. Like your element is closest to spirit. So it doesn't surprise me that you have this this strong creation kind of vibe going on right now. And we're in Virgo season. Virgo season is all about, you know, doing the work and making things happen and, and sorting out the details. So it doesn't surprise me at all that you're, you of all signs are kind of getting this layout. So to sum all that up, for those of you who you've met and you've already felt this, great, you're on a good roll take it <laughs> for everyone else who's who's been you know maybe feeling a little little frustrated with it or confused about it could even be what you're feeling know that it's not impossible have faith trust in it expect the best but know that you are part of this process you are you are part of what's making this happen all right which i always think is comforting because then it's not out of your control you know maybe not all of it you know, but there's an element that you you really are playing a part in. So just be aware of what your predominant thought is. You know, if you're constantly thinking you're going to be let down, it's kind of a self-fulfilling self prophecy. And again, the whole point of this is to take what resonates. So if this doesn't fit, if I'm saying this and you're like, oh, what? Not your reading, not your message. Those of you who I can say that and you're like, oh God, I do that all the time you know, then it's a different story. So then you take that and apply it, all right? All right, Spirit, what is the most important thing Saj needs to know about love and romance for the month of September? So, oh, something fell out. Okay, I didn't see that. And look at that. Seven of Pentacles, patience, waiting. Why are we waiting? We're waiting on you to get your mind right. No, I'm just kidding, totally teasing. But we are waiting for this shift, this adjustment. For some, that may already have, already have happened and we're just waiting for the right opportunity. The pieces haven't all fallen into place or you know, the, the crop hasn't completely ripened yet. You know, we're waiting for everything to be perfect. We're waiting for everything to be in season, right? Woo! 
everything we just talked about, Five of Cups being all in the feels, all distraught, all sad, oh my god, woe is me, look at single sad me, why do I keep getting burned, why do I have to keep playing with it, why do I have to keep playing with these same idiots, or why do I have to keep dealing with these same situations? Biggest blessing in the Five of Cups. I'm not saying what you're going through is fun and delightful. But the biggest blessing is, yes, there are some spilled cups. You can see them down in this corner. Yes, there are some spilled cups down there, right? But if you would get out of your grief and stop, oh my god, like, oh, sad, oh, I'm so sad, oh, I'm reaching out for these empty cups, why are they empty, wah, wah, wah. If you can get over this and get over yourself and look right back here, two perfectly good cups, one for you and one for the other person, right there. Look at them. Look, look, look. look at you. No, I'm so sad. I'm still looking at my spilled cups. Meh. Oh my god. I spilled my cups. Oh, I lost my wine. Oh god, I'm so thirsty. Look at two more cups right back there. Right there. Look at that. I don't know what that was. Whatever that voice that just came out of me. I, oh god. I got real... I don't know what that was. Anyway, you get the point. <laughs> I got a little cuckoo there. But that's, honestly, that's really what it is. So for those of you who are in the fields and kind of stuck in that, in that feeling, some of you, I hope most of you, are kind of past that and we're just kind of, we're just kind of dealing with the patience. You know, we just kind of exercise a little more patience. But those of you stuck in that five of cups, that's really what it is. You know, it's like count the blessings, count the things that are working. Oh, we've got some, got some friends. What am I doing? <laughs> Love. All right, look at this. Here we are with the Queen of Pentacles coming out after the Five of Cups. And then the Hermit card. So this is, th this is the card for Virgo. So this could be implying Virgo season, that something's happening in Virgo season. You know, whether it's the understanding or even this opportunity. So now is the time. So that may be why I'm, I was getting such a strong push to talk about this Five of Cups, because literally spirits like, it's not the time. Time's coming. I need you ready. I need you. I need you more aware. I need you out of your field so you can see what's happening, cause it's about to happen. Like it's coming. Queen of Pentacles. Now, if you've watched my readings before, you know I talk about the Queen of Pentacles as this card of health and well-being. You know, it's usually a card that that comes up when there's a need to just kind of maintain yourself. Whether this is eating right, working out, handling stress, getting sleep, all of that kind of stuff. Um, this is my big wellness card. With it coming up right now, I see it more as a sense of stability. Because the Queen of Cups, although she is all of those things that I just mentioned, you know, she is also from the suit of Pentacles, which is all Earth energy, again, like Virgo. But she's very grounded, she's very secure. So I do think there is an element here really about, yes, grounding yourself in wellness and concern about your well-being, but also just knowing how secure you are and how stable you are. And I would almost also say how capable you are considering what we're talking about here. You know, because, you know, the Queen of Pentacles honestly is just as capable as, as the King. You know what I mean? He has his own mastery of, of different things, but, you know, she's still that same grounded, level-headed, very practical, you know, but there's also a confidence that comes up from her because she knows she can do it. She knows she can make this happen. You know, like, you can even see, she's got her own coins. Like, she's not relying on the king to give her money. Like, she's like, no, look at my pot. I got money. I'm fine. I'm good. Now, yes, when we're together, we've got tons of abundance, but I also have my own. There's a, a certain wisdom here, an understanding that is very strong and prevalent in the Queen of Pentacles that I'm like super responding to right now. And I think it's that same understanding that needs to be really instilled in you. And for any of you that are like, okay, I get that, I feel that, I resonate with that, but I don't have it. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I get I need it, I want it. The f I don't know what it is. That's where you get this Hermit card. 
So this Hermit card is all about spiritual messages and not necessarily different. She's different from the High Priestess because the High Priestess is about your own inner knowledge and your own intuition. The Hermit is more about your guides, your angels, um, your, you know, even your ancestors, about you know, them giving you messages to receive and you being open to them. Which again, plays back to why this Five of Cups, overcoming this Five of Cups is so important. Because if you're stuck in the grief, you're never going to hear the mis the, the mishish? I don't know what was about to come out. I think I was going to say message and transmission, and it came out mishish, is what happened. But that's really what it is. I need you to get out of your feels long enough for you to hear the transmission. Because that's what this card is. This card is trying to give you hints and clues and nods. This is what you need to do. This is what you need to understand. This is what you need to nurture within yourself. And this Queen of Pentacles is like, oh, I can totally do that. I got that. In fact, I'm already doing it. So thank you for the advice. I'm going to keep doing what I do. Because that's where I feel stable and balanced and well. If you're not feeling that way, we need to get you back there. And that may take some effort. That may take some readjusting. But guess what? You're capable of doing it. And you got time on your hands, so might as well. Like, <laughs> just... God, I feel like your read. I was not like this in the other readings. For some reason, you're, uh, they're making me real snarky to you, Sag. I don't know what it is. Maybe some of you just need to do it. Like, it's just, because you can. I think that's the bit, like, that's the thing that keeps coming through. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, we're done with that. Okay, wow. Um, oh, that's a lot. We're going to take them. We're going to take them anyway. We're taking them. We're taking them all. Shut Oh my god, I'm gonna hide those. We're gonna talk about those in a minute. Oh, hold your horses. All right. Ooh. Oh, that got me so, oh, I'm like tingling. Ah, uh, okay. Beautiful. All right, we're just, we're gonna rapid fire these because I wanna get, the I wanna get to these bad boys. So you've got the Hierophant card. Great, another card of spiritual connection. This is a very religious card. So some of you, maybe this is a time for you to reconnect with a spiritual practice or your own faith. Could be a big thing. Six of Cups. Feels, thinking about the past, maybe, for some of you. Ten of Swords, utter defeat. Closing the door on this. That's literally what it is. Coming to, like, you're at the end. Be done with it. I just, this is like spiritual, I need you to be done. I need you to be done. And for those of you who are resisting, this card is also spirit coming and shutting it down for you. Like, you won't let this go? Fine. I'm just going to make it hurt so much that you die. Then you have no choice, because it will be done. I will literally rip it from your body, as painful as it may sound. Because we're done. We're done. Done, 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 done. King of Pentacles. This is really about, you know, seeing forward. This is about the foresight. Because again, we've got this replay of like looking back. Six of Pentacles, or Six of Pentacles. Six of Cups with the Five of Cups. This is sadness, feeling lost, that less than mentality. Six of Cups is all about nostalgia. So we're sad about the past. This guy's like, well, it's the past. You can't do anything about it. Look forward. <laughs> like, that's, like even here, like the two, like it's the two, I want to say that I think they're tails. No, I lied. Now that I'm looking at it, I actually don't know what they are. I always just think they're eyes, but they're only these, these like things on the shield back there. Like they always look like owl eyes, right? But it always makes me think, it always makes me think of like that like sharp focus that owls have. They can see that one little tiny mouse in the field, you know, all the way on the other side of the field from the tree they're in, and just like honing on it. You know, that's almost what spirit's telling you to do. Like I need you to redirect your focus, take it off of this, because again, there's nothing we can do about it find the blessing that was in it so that it releases you from replaying this so we can move you forward seven of wands and then tell everyone else to f off <laughs> like, that's really, like this is you taking up your own wand be like i got this stop telling me what to do like this gives me always like super moses vibes like the parting of the red sea he's like no let my people go except now it's like let me go <laughs> like it's really what it is it's really what it is so I feel like this could even be a situation outside of romance. Like, yes, for a lot of you, this could be, you know, like the ghosts of your ex that are messing with you. But I feel like this could also be something that's getting in the way of this Queen of Pentacles, right? 
something that's getting in the way of you just existing in this space to be more welcoming and to have space to welcome in this new love and this new romance. This Seven of Wands, you know, actually now that I say that out loud, really this I think is playing out in your regular life. Whether it's family, whether it's your professional life, it's just, you know, your own personal, you know, development and progression. I think that's the big thing. That's, you know, what spirit is like, take this time before I bring you this person. Take this time to get that right. Because again, you always want to, you're always going to attract someone on the same frequency as you, right? So if your frequency is chaotic, you're going to attract a chaotic signal. Versus if your signal is grounded, you will attract someone who's grounded, right? So that's why we need to bring an end to whatever's going on here, right? And then we get to these bad boys. Look at this. The fool and the world. Alpha, Omega. Totally wrapping up the cycle. We could even do them this way if you want. Finishing the old cycle, beginning a whole new one. This is the wrap up. We've got the end, we talked about endings several times and here it is playing out on a much bigger scale. Literally crossing the finish line, starting fresh and new. Huge wrapping up what was done in the past, what we felt in the past, how we thought, why we were hurt, and literally taking back our power, looking at the road ahead so we can start this brand new journey. All fresh and white and virginal. Look at that. Oh, can't stand it, Sag. Again, Sag, I'm, I'm sorry I got so snarky. I don't know where that came from. You guys got a real snarky TC in this reading. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Anyway, just again, take what resonates, apply it and make it happen. As always, wishing you the best. I love you guys, take care. I will see you in your next video. As always, you're welcome to hit me up in the comment section below. Tell me how sassy I was. Um, you can also hit me up on Instagram at The Guiding Chariot. Uh, and if you wanna book a private session, all that info will be in the description box below. Take care, I love you. And again, I'll see you in your next video. Bye, Sag.